Um, I was contacted by close uh, family friends, uh, the wards, and they said that their sister Kathy was uh, at the ward home residence uh, about a block away, half a block away, uh, in their oceanfront house, was suffering severe damage, and she was very nervous being in the home, and she needed, she needed some help. Well, houses were collapsing at that point around around the neighborhood. Foundations were blowing out and waves were rolling down the street. So I, I knew that if she needed help, she probably, it, would, it would be tough. It would be a tough rescue. Got life jackets and flashlights and I went across and tried to climb through the debris field over the power lines and, and get, into, uh, get up into what I thought was the back of the ward's house, uh, not realizing that the roof had collapsed and the, it was just a wall. And went around a different a different way, and she was standing in a doorway. She knew I'd be there, and uh, said, "Fine." And uh, off we went. We made it back through uh, some bad conditions and made it back to our house. We've all been friends since second and third grade. We've all summered together, and for some reason in my life, my ties with people that I grew up with at the shore every summer over my, I'm 55 now, over my entire life have been much stronger than the ties with people that I, through like school systems and things like at college. I don't know what it is, maybe it's something in the water, but we're just, we all hang together. We've been like that our whole lives, all of us.